guys so today I am going to be doing a Christmas cha-ching so before I get into this particular video I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and hope everyone has a happy new year uh, you probably won't see a video from me until after Christmas sometime uh, so I just wanted to make sure I let you guys know all to have a Merry Christmas and I hope that you get everything that you wanted so we're just gonna get straight into this cha-ching everything will be Christmas related so the first thing that I have was a 1963 um, expandable plastic nativity scene uh, this did go to a subscriber named Ada I picked this up at a villa bag rummage sale and funnily enough um, I went to an auction well, maybe like a month month ago possibly um, and they had a bunch of these different expandable um, scenes and you saw that in my Christmas decorating video I had no idea that they made other ones uh, but apparently there were quite a few other than just the nativity scene so this one sold for $29.99 and uh, the next item I have also came from that same filler bag rummage sale I found this shiny bright plastic nativity um, this was even in its original box which is always fun finding vintage Christmas stuff that's still in their original packagings. Um, this one here sold for $22.99. Next we have a large lot of Goebel Christmas Angels. Eric and I won these at an auction. They were on, someone had them kind of on a tree, but the tree that they were on wasn't like very wasn't very nice so we just took all of the angels off the tree and sold those and that whole lot sold for $79.99 I also sold a Napco kissing Santa and Mrs. Claus these were just little tiny figures but they did have the spaghetti trim I'm pretty sure I once sold these once before so I think this was the second time I came across this set and those sold for $22.99 I also sold a treasure craft pixie planter. I associate pixies with Christmas time. Um, so I just decided to put this in my cha-ching. And this here sold for $14.99. It was on the small side. Um, I did get that at a yard sale and I remember that particular yard sale. I had purchased a bunch of Monster High dolls. I think I spent like a hundred some dollars at her yard sale. And the other stuff I was looking at, she just told me to take. <laughs> so I didn't pay anything for that. Um, next we have a set of two. These were vintage sequin beaded chenille um, Christmas girls. These were ornaments. So these were like a crafty thing. Someone obviously had made those using some sort of kit um, back in the day. And a lot of times when I find these, they are so well done. Like they are so good. I feel like if I had done a kit like that, Mine would be so incredibly sloppy and horrible. I am not crafty. <laughs> anyway, those sold for $19.99. I also sold a Lennox Winnie the Pooh um, Christmas tree uh, with the ornament. So this was a ceramic tree with all ceramic uh, Winnie the Pooh ornaments. That sold for $219.99 and that did come um, from an auction. I feel like we only paid $50 or less for that. So that was a good sale. Um, next we have an old world Christmas blown glass ornament of Our Lady of Guadalupe that sold for $14.99. I feel like that either came from a filler bag rummage sale or potentially a yarn sale. This next item I did put in my Christmas cha-ching because my thoughts behind it were like maybe someone was going to use it as like Christmas decor. But this was for a vintage from 1935 Flotex Snowman Antifreeze. It was a tin can in absolutely beautiful condition. Like the graphics on it were still really nice. And Eric and I found that at a yard sale. I think we paid $5 for it and it sold for $153.66. 
I also sold a gourd. You guys know I like picking up gourds. Well, I do sell them occasionally. Not all of them go. Uh, but this one was for a red elf gourd that sold for $17.99. And I think I picked, um, it was a set of three of those. And I think I got them um, at a yard sale. This next item also came from a yard sale. This was by a company called Grandin Road. Um, his name was Morton Moose. He was a large uh, Christmas themed figure. I had sold a, was it a camel or a llama um, already like a while back it was. Um, that sold for $89.99 and again I think he was like maybe five dollars so I think I paid ten for the pair maybe it was twenty for a pair so maybe I paid ten for him but I know it wasn't a whole lot um I also sold a uh, wooden German revolving nativity wood music box this was absolutely gorgeous very well made um this came from a auction it was in a lot of some other stuff that I had won and this was a while back this did take a little while to sell but I did have it priced kind of high because it was just really 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 nicely made um, that did sell for $79.99 I sold another Christmas ornament. This one was by a company called Silver Street and it was a police officer. This was so detailed. Like it had all of these little um, charms hanging off of it, uh, like police related charms. It was just really, really detailed. I loved the look of that. Um, that sold for $14.99. And again, I'm thinking that came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. I also sold a Mr. Christmas Santa's marching band um, that sold for $39.99. Eric won that um, at an auction. I think he paid $10 for it. Um, let's see, we also got another German piece. This was for a wooden um, German waiter or bartender um, incense smoker that sold for $69.99. Um, I had gotten a bunch of these at an auction, but I do sometimes randomly find them at yard sale. So I can't remember if this one was from the auction or yard sale. I feel like this one was from a yard sale. I also sold a red cardinal bird cloisonne ornament for $25.99. Um, I'm pretty sure this was just like a random box lot piece that I won at an auction. A lot of the times I mention like random box lot trays and stuff like that and I think next time I win um, like a box lot or a tray of something at the auction I think I might do a video showing you guys like going through it like before I even list any of it. I don't know I thought that would be kind of fun just to go through it because I have a lot of fun going through them because usually there's only like one or two things I want out of the whole box or tray and then sometimes I list some of the other stuff and like that stuff will sell before the things that I purchased the box for so I thought it would be fun to go through some of that you have to let me know what you think about that down in the comments um next item we have was a Limax village piece set this one was called the Hamilton Ale House that's all for $49.99 and that did come from an auction I also sold a Longaburger Christmas Traditions. I had this listed as a tissue basket because the person who um, originally had it was using it as a tissue basket. It had just like a big pile of um, tissues laying on the inside and then like the tissues coming from the top. I think the original purpose of this basket was to hold like Christmas ribbons and stuff like that so the ribbons would come out of the top. Uh, but this person was using it as a tissue box and Lunkaburger tissue boxes can sell pretty well. So I listed it as a tissue box um, as well and it sold for $49.99 and that did come from an auction. I'd say I paid $10 for that. I sold a Department 56 Christmas Story Joke Shop. So this was another village piece. Um, this is just insane. These like when they first came out like you could buy them for like twenty dollars or less and they are worth so much money right now um people definitely love to collect christmas villages and some like themed christmas villages can sell 
so so good. A Christmas Story is definitely one of those. Um, I do believe there is a Harry Potter one by a company called Hawthorne Village that also sells really well. So definitely if you come across themed Christmas Village pieces, would definitely take a look and see what those are worth. This one sold for $189.99. We did get that at an auction. Uh, I do think we paid up a little bit for it, but we still made a great profit. Uh, next we have a buyer's choice. Um, this was Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim. This sold for $59.99 and that also came from an auction. I had won like a bunch of buyer's choice dolls um, at an auction one time and I think I was paying about um, $8 or so for them. Some I think were a little more than that but definitely under $20 for them. I also sold a 1986 Christmas stocking needlepoint kit. This sold for $49.99. Um, most of you know, like, some needlepoint kits, cross-stitch kits, especially Christmas-related, some of them can sell really well. They're not all created equal by any means. Sometimes I've come across some that I thought for sure were going to be worth a decent amount, and they ended up not being really worth much. So if you come across them, I would definitely look them up first, unless you're only paying like a quarter or something for them. And next we have, oh, this one was a really good sale. Um, Eric and I, like, we were just driving down the road, I think, I don't know if we were going to the grocery store or what, but it was our typical route. We go past this house, like, pretty much on the daily uh, when we go into town, and they had, like, a bunch of stuff sitting out in their yard, but... There was no one out there. It was just a table full of stuff and just things like laying in the yard. And I was like, Eric, is that a yard sale? And we like drove past because like we had spotted these blow molds. And like we didn't know if like someone was just like cleaning or whatnot. You know what I mean? Because there was no real signage outside. Um, so he turned around, went back, and we got out of the truck and we started like looking at stuff. And then a man came out of like the garage and he's like, oh, if there's anything you're interested in, just name, name a price or something. We'll work out a deal. So we saw like this, a whole bunch of these vintage union products, blow molds of these like peppermint candy lollipops. Um, and we asked him like, well, how much are your blow molds? He said $8 for all of them. We couldn't get them in the truck fast enough. That was in an insane deal. And we sold those for $450. So I'm glad we turned around and like checked it out um, to see like what exactly was going on uh, because he was definitely looking to sell his stuff. Um, next item was another piece of the Department 56 uh, Christmas Story Um village piece this one was of the police station that one sold for $199.99 again came from that same auction and I actually had two and here's another one I had two of the joke shops so this was another uh, Christmas story joke shop that also sold for $179.99 so really great resale on those uh, the next item went to a subscriber named Kathleen. This was for a set of Home Co. Christmas Mice. These were so stinking cute. Those sold for $19.99. And I feel like those came from an auction. I can't remember, but I feel like I just obtained them not that long ago. Uh, the next two items also came from... From an auction. This one was another Lee Max Christmas Village piece. It was called a Maker Friend Teddy Bear Studio that sold for $49.99. And then I also had a Lee Max ice skating rink that sold for $32.99. Uh okay, this next item was so cool. I found this at a yard sale. I think I paid $2 for it. Um, but it was for a vintage, what they called traveling tree. It was basically a little Christmas tree that could plug into like your lighter port in your car, 
your boat or your RV or what have you so you'd have like a Christmas tree with you in the car. So like perfect for anyone who is just on the road and traveling. So that sold for $12.99. I just thought that was so cool. I had to pick it up. Um, next item was for a lot of two vintage mini bottle brush trees. These also had like little fruits in them. Uh, those sold for $29.99 and those I'm pretty sure came from an auction. Uh, this next item was for the ad, uh, the Avon Countdown to Christmas Advent Calendar. I've sold this a couple of times now. I have found, um, I think, so far in my lifetime reselling, I've found three of these out in the wild. First time I found one, I, it didn't have the mouse. And then the other two times I found them, um, they did have the mouse. So pretty much everyone knows about these Avon Advent calendars. It's no secret. I'm still surprised sometimes when I see people post about them on like the eBay Facebook groups and they don't know about them. It's like, are you living under a rock, people? <laughs> These things are good. Um, so that's over $125.99. And that one actually came from a yard sale. I remember I found the mouse while I was like looking through a table and I was like, oh my gosh, the Avon Advent Christmas mouse. And you can just sell the mouse separately for decent money. Um, so like I was happy about that, but I was like, the calendar has to be around here somewhere. And then I did, I ended up finding the calendar part. So it was really exciting. Um, next item we have was for a Willie Ray studio piece. This was called Bear Busting Snowman. That's over $89.99. I did get that one at a yard sale. And I think we paid ten dollars for it. Um, some Willie Ray Studio pieces can sell well. As with other stuff, they're not all created equal. Some of them are worth more than others. And a lot of the times, uh, when I do sell Willie Ray Studio specifically, um, a lot of them go overseas. Like I guess it's harder for them to, you know, obtain them. Um, so if you are selling them, definitely. Um, offer GSP on those because you'll get more money that way. Um, okay, so I have quite a few pieces of this um, Port Mirian um, dishes. These were all designed by someone named Susan Winget and they're called A Christmas Story. It doesn't have anything to do with like the movie A Christmas Story or anything like that, but each piece um, has like a part of, you know, um, a Christmas story, uh, written out on like each piece. So like if you're displaying them, I guess, like it would tell the entire story with like each piece. It's really interesting. And some of those pieces can sell really well because people are definitely collecting them. Um, I found these at an auction. Um, but as with everything, not all the pieces are worth the same amount. Uh, so you'll you'll see that um, within this cha-ching with the pieces I sold. So the first one I sold was a two-quart casserole dish. That's over $118.99, and I probably paid less than $40 for it at the auction. Um, and then there'll be more as I go through this cha-ching. The next thing I have is for a Monet trinket box. This was a pile of presents. That's over $29.99. Eric purchased a bunch of Monet trinket boxes at an auction. I was going to do a separate video of uh, like a cha-ching of my Monet trinket boxes. I'm still hoping to do that video at some point, but I, uh, I think I did put some Christmas related ones in here. Same with this next one. This was a Monet trinket box. This was Santa sleigh. That sold for $19.99. I sold a holiday time cuddly kitten inflatable. So this is just one of those air inflatable outdoor decorations. That's over $39.99. I picked that up at a yard sale for $5. Um, next was a Christmas ornament. These were by Danbury Mint and they were little animals. This one was of a lemur. Uh, that sold for $19.99. And Eric had won a lot of these, I think it was, at an auction. I want to say it was an auction. Um, and we did sell a lot of them. I do still have a few left, some different animals. 
Uh, next we have a Department 56. This was a Winnie the Pooh lighted Christmas scene. That's over $199.99 that did come from an auction. And I'd say maybe $40 we paid for that. Um, we have another Old World Christmas um, ornament. This one was of a Surfer Santa that sold for $14.99. Um, here are a couple more of the Susan Wingett uh, Port Merion Christmas Story dishes. Uh, this first thing was a Sugar and Creamer set that sold for $23.99. I sold a set of two condiment dip sauce bowls for $19.99 and then I also sold a one and a half quart casserole dish for $79.99. So if you ever come across any of those pieces, definitely take a look. Here's another one of those Meadowbrook gourds. Um, this one was a green elf that sold for $19.99. I sold a set of three copper Christmas trees. These were by someone named Andy Brinkley. Absolutely beautiful, so unique. I had never seen anything like these before. Won these at an auction, and I know I didn't pay much for them. I wanna say it was like 20 some dollars. No one was really interested in them, um, but I just, I'm drawn to like, the weird, the unusual, the unique, and those sold for $114.99. I also sold a Mr. Christmas ice skating rink. This one was worth way more than the Lee Max, but the Lee Max one was much smaller. Um, this sold for $229.99, and we won that at an auction, and I feel, again, like that was less than $40. Another cloisonne ornament. This one was like Mardi Gras kind of collared themed. Um, that sold for $19.99 and I'm pretty sure that came from an auction as well. This next piece, oh my gosh, absolutely amazing piece. This was for a Joseph Originals um, lighted angel um, lamp and she was standing beside a Christmas tree that lit up. It was absolutely gorgeous. Eric and I went to a yard sale. It was probably the last yard sale of the season is where we found this. Um, it was in someone's garage and they actually had it plugged in. I was so surprised that it was still there because I think we were kind of like late getting out to yard sales because there really wasn't many. Um, and I'm pretty sure that was five five dollars we paid for that and it sold for $99.99 it's one of those pieces where like I would have loved to kept it but I didn't really have a place to plug it in I don't like honestly have a ton of stuff that plugs in um so yeah actually I should have gotten rid of like my Santa lamp that I'm having bulb issues with and just like kept her there instead but regardless I sold her maybe I'll come across another one at some point doubtful but one can hope. Um, next we have a vintage flocked Santa, uh, wind up musical Santa. Um, so when you like spun him around, he would spin and play music. That sold for $15.99 and I'm pretty sure that came with some other stuff I won at an auction. I also sold another one of those Danbury Mint animal ornaments. This one was of a koala that sold for $11.99. Another Monet uh, trinket box. This actually came with a, I think it was a necklace, of a polar bear that sold for $34.99. Next we have an angel Christmas tree topper that sold for $29.99. And I picked that up at an antique store. She was missing her wings and at the time, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even notice that she didn't have her wings. But I didn't pay much for her. So, you know, obviously whoever was selling her realized she didn't have her wings, but not me. Um, I do think I paid $6 for her. And the last thing that I have uh, was another Danbury Mint item. This was for the M&M's Express Train. That sold for $159.99. I also came from an auction. We did have that for a while. That one did take a while to sell. Uh, but that is everything for this Christmas cha-ching. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you're staying warm. I know there's like a lot of 
like a snowstorm like going through a lot of states up north um we're just getting really cold temperatures um it's really windy right now it's just really windy and cold and um it was raining a little while ago so we're just mainly getting like rain and wind and the cold temperatures we're not getting any of the snow um so yeah hopefully everyone is staying warm uh, except for you lucky people that live in the south where it's warm all the time, right? You're so lucky. Um, my skin is so dry every winter. Oh my gosh, my skin gets so incredibly dry and I get itchy and it's just ugh. But there is something really nice about the winter and when it does snow. Just how peaceful and calm and relaxing it is outside when you don't have to go anywhere when you're just stuck inside and can just relax and oh it's just there's something magical about it so I do like when we get snow but I don't want a whole lot of snow <laughs> um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one you'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments how sales have been for you through um you know the Christmas rush and everything like that I feel like I didn't really have many post office issues this year I feel like um, most post offices and distribution centers seem to have been on top of their game like I didn't really have any problems with late packages and stuff not arriving or anything like that so knock on wood <laughs> um, and I'm trying to think if there was anything else I feel like so today is, I don't even know what day it is today. Oh, it's Friday, Michelle. Um, so it is Friday and Christmas is on Sunday. I feel like I'm still getting sales, but it's definitely slowed down, which I think is pretty normal. You know, people don't really want to buy anything because it's not going to be here, obvi obviously, by Christmas. Um, you know, a lot of people... That's someone's trash can <laughs> blowing down the street. It is really windy outside. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, um, just things not arriving before Christmas and, you know, everyone already spent a lot of money. So I do feel like it'll start kicking back up after Christmas. You know, people will have gotten gift cards to spend and that type of thing. So I'm not concerned. I am kind of taking a slight little I wouldn't say break from eBay but I haven't been listing as much lately um I've just been you know relaxing and enjoying my little bit of Christmas break um so I'll probably list a couple of things today and then tomorrow and on Christmas I'm just not doing anything <laughs> as far as eBay is related um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know what you thought down in the comments and Merry Christmas.